Hello and welcome. Today's video is in continuation with our previous video in which we are going to study some important questions that are based on operators. Now without wasting any time, let's get started with our questions. Our first question is, prove the following. It looks very complicated and tricky. So let's see how we can simplify it and solve it. The left hand side of this question comprises of three parts that are shown in three different colors here. Let's get started with the first part. We are going to convert our delta in terms of the shift operator which is equal to e minus 1 whole square upon e of e x. Now we shall write rest of the terms later. First let us solve this portion. We are going to take the square. This is equal to e square minus 2e plus 1 upon e of e x. This is equal to e square divided by e. This gives the value e minus 2 plus 1 upon e that is e inverse of e x. Shift operator applied to e x gives the value e x plus h minus 2 e raised to power x plus e raised to power x minus h. So this is the expression of the first part. Our second part is e e raised to power x. This can be written as e raised to power x plus h. So we are going to write this value in rest of the steps as well. For the third part delta can be written as e minus 1 whole square e x. Opening up the bracket that is squaring the terms we get e square minus 2e plus 1 and the function is e raised to power x. Applying this operator to this function this value becomes e x plus 2h minus 2 times of e x plus h plus e raised to power x. Taking out e x common in first and third part, we get these two values. Now we can easily simplify them further. This term e raised to power x, it gets cancelled over here and what remains is these three values. Now let us simplify them further. e x plus h can be written as e x into e h. What we are going to do here is we shall take e x outside and multiply this bracket by e h. So we get this equation which gets cancelled with our previous equation in denominator and what we are left with is e raised to power x and this is what we had to prove. Just have a look and see how it has been proved. Our next question is to evaluate delta tan inverse x. So it is a direct question. What we are going to do here is apply our forward difference operator. We know that delta fx is equal to f x plus h minus fx. So we are going to apply this relation to a function. So we get the value tan inverse x plus h minus tan inverse x. Now we can see that this expression is of this form that is tan inverse c minus tan inverse d. And what is this relation equal to? This is equal to tan inverse of c minus d upon 1 plus c into d. So we are going to just apply this concept here. So we get a relation as tan inverse and what is c here? c is x plus h and what is d here? d is x. So c minus d upon 1 plus c into d. Simplifying it further, we get this value as tan inverse h upon 1 plus x square plus h x. And this is your answer for the given question. Let us move on to our next question. Prove the following. hd is equal to log 1 plus delta equals minus log of 1 minus nabla equals sine hyperbolic inverse mu into delta. Now this is a very important question from exam point of view. It can be asked as a part of objective type question also as well as you will be asked to prove it also. 
it can be asked either ways and now what is d here d is the differential operator here so let us see how we are going to solve it we need to note here that e power hd is equal to e that is your shift operator now taking log on both the sides we get log e power hd is equal to log of e and we know this value log e raised power hd is equal to hd itself and now what is e equal to in terms of forward difference operator we can write this as log of 1 plus delta and this gives our first expression that is hd is equal to log of 1 plus delta to prove the next part we will take this term that is hd is equal to log of e and this term can be written as minus log of e inverse yeah so this is equal to minus log and e inverse can be written in terms of backward difference operator as 1 minus nabla and this proves our second result let us prove the third part of this expression that is hd is equal to sine hyperbolic inverse mu into delta we shall start with this term mu into delta now we know that this value is equal to 1 by 2 of delta plus nabla we have seen this relation in our previous videos also we have proved it also so what can this be written in terms of shift operator delta can be written as e minus 1 and what is nabla can be written as nabla is 1 minus e inverse now the term 1 gets cancelled and what is left is 1 upon 2 e minus e inverse now as e is equal to e raised to power hd we can say that e inverse is equal to e raised to power minus hd this is a relation which can be easily verified now substituting these values in this relation we get 1 upon 2 what is e written as e raised power hd minus e raised power minus hd now here we need to note that we have this value sine hyperbolic x what is this equal to it is equal to e raised power x minus e raised power minus x upon 2 now instead of x if we take this value hd then what is this value going to be equal to this is equal to e raised power hd minus e raised power minus hd upon 2 so if we are going to substitute this value in our relation we get sine hyperbolic hd so what we have shown here is we have shown that mu into delta is equal to sine hyperbolic of hd now we can rewrite this expression as sine hyperbolic inverse of mu delta is equal to sine hyperbolic inverse of sine hyperbolic hd now what is this value going to be equal to this is equal to hd and this is what we had to prove you can see here we were asked to prove that hd is equal to sine hyperbolic inverse of mu delta so this completes the proof of third part of this expression moving on to our next question we are asked to evaluate the value of delta square 5x plus 12 upon x square plus 5x plus 6 where the interval of difference is unity that is the value of h is equal to 1 here now before we proceed further let us just simplify this expression in the denominator we have this quadratic equation which can be factorized into two factors now how we can find the factors here we can write 1 1 and 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and then we can use this formula that is x plus 2 and x plus 3 where the sum of 2 and 3 is 5 this is how we can factor it into two factors if you do not know this method you can go and check out my video on how to factorize a quadratic equation so this is equal to 5x plus 12 upon x plus 2 into x plus 3. 
fractions. Now, in order to simplify it further, let us take the partial fractions of this term. This expression 5x plus 12 upon x plus 2 into x plus 3 can be written as a upon x plus 2 plus b upon x plus 3. Next, we are going to take the LCM and keep the like terms together and rest of the terms separately. In the numerator, we get a plus b into x plus 3a plus 2b. Now, equating the like terms of left hand side and right hand side, we get a plus b is equal to 5 and 3a plus 2b is equal to 12. On solving these two equations, we get the value of a as 2 and that of b as 3. Now, substituting these two values in our initial expression, that is here we will put a equal to 2 and b equal to 3. So, we have rewritten our equation here. Now, we are going to apply our forward difference operator to this expression. Applying on both the sides, what we get here, we will take one forward difference operator inside. This will give you the value delta 2 upon x plus 2 plus delta 3 upon x plus 3. This is equal to delta 2 can be taken as constant that can be taken outside. Then what remains inside is 1 upon x plus 2. So we have this value x plus 2 plus h here okay minus 1 upon x plus 2. Now we know that the value of h is 1 here we are given in the question. So we will write 1 here plus 3 again taken outside and applying the forward difference operator to 1 upon x plus 3. So, we get the value 1 upon x plus 3 plus h and h is 1. So, this is going to be x plus 4 minus 1 upon plus 3. So, this is equal to delta. You can skip this step. You can directly uh, switch to next step also. Only to explain, I am writing all these terms again. 2 upon x plus 3 minus 2 upon x plus 2 plus 3 upon x plus 4 and minus 3 upon x plus 3. Now taking the like terms together we get delta 1 upon x plus 3 and we have two terms of x plus 3 in the denominator that is 2 minus 3. So we get here minus 1 upon x plus 3 and minus 2 x plus 2 plus 3 upon x plus 4. Now we are going to start with this expression and again apply a forward difference operator to it. Now applying the operator and taking the constants when constant values outside we have minus 1 taken outside delta 1 upon x plus 3 minus 2 delta 1 upon x plus 2 plus 3 delta 1 upon x plus 4. Now this makes this expression more simplified and easier to proceed. Now again we are applying this relation delta fx is equal to f x plus h minus fx. Alright. So minus 1 into delta 1 upon x plus 3. So, this will be written as minus 1 upon x plus 3 and here we will have 1 upon x plus 3 plus 1 that is h that is 4 minus 2 1 upon x plus 2 minus and here we will have 1 upon x plus 2 plus 1 that is x plus 3 and here we have 3 1 upon x plus 4 and minus and here we will have 1 upon x plus 4 plus 1 that is x plus 5. Now nothing much is left here. We are just going to rearrange these terms. Now you can directly jump on to a next step and take the terms common. But in order to avoid any um, sign mistake, I will just write all the terms again opening up the brackets. The first term is this plus 1 upon x plus 3 minus 2 upon x plus 3 and plus 2 x plus 2 plus 3 x plus 5 minus 3 x plus 4. Now what we need to do here is we shall take like terms 
together. Like suppose if we take the first term as x plus 5. We have only one term of x plus 5. So this will be 3 upon x plus 5. Next we are going to take x plus 4. We are just going in descending order. So we have two terms of x plus 4. That is minus 1 and minus 3. So that gives minus 4 plus x plus 3. Again, we have two terms of x plus 3, 1 minus 2, that is minus 1 plus x plus 2. And we have only one term, that is 2 upon x plus 2. And thus, we get the answer for the given question. So, this is the value that we were asked to find out for the given expression. So, let us just summarize what we have done in this question. We were given a question and we had to evaluate the value of this expression when power difference is forward difference operator is applied two times and we were given that the interval of difference is unity that is the value of h is equal to 1. What we did initially is we simplified our given expression how we just factorized our denominator into two factors then applied the partial fraction method to find the value of a and b from which we get the value of a as 2 and b as 3 substituting those two values in our expression and applying the forward difference operator we will apply this operator one by one first we apply it to the two parts of the partial fraction and find the corresponding values to them then in the next part we applied our forward difference operator again and that gave us the value of the expression as 3 upon x plus 5 minus 4 upon x plus 4 minus 1 upon x plus 3 plus 2 upon x plus 2. This brings us to the end of today's class. In the meanwhile, I am leaving you with some practice questions meant to check your knowledge of operators and give you a better understanding of this topic. The answer to these questions will be given in the next video. These are very simple questions. If you have paid attention during the lecture, you will be able to solve them all. This was all for today's class. See you in next video.